Hola, buenas noches. Good evening, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And today I have an exciting video. I'm going to challenge myself to finish 10 entire sticker books in the new year 2023. I guess I'm drawn to these challenges because if you're an OG on this channel, you know that my roots in YouTube are in the Project Panning community. This is like a sub-community of the makeup and beauty YouTube community where people focus on finishing up makeup items in their stash, using their stash, enjoying their stash and kind of pushing back against that like extreme consumerism that like fuels the makeup and beauty community. I was super into project panning my makeup and beauty collection for years and that was where I really started to get familiar with YouTube and familiarize myself with filming and editing. Now that I'm in the paper crafting and planning world, I still want to carry like the lessons I learned in the makeup and beauty project panning community into my paper crafting videos and I really want to make sure that I'm continuing to apply those same principles of enjoying what you have using what you have and trying to scale back purchasing continuously new product. Anyway, I chose 10 sticker books from my stash um, either because I'm close to finishing them and I thought they would be easy picks to finish in the new year or I picked them because they're a bit older, like they're a bit older in my collection and I just want to, you know, use it up before the stickers, I don't know, expire. I do think that stickers can lose their stickiness over years. I think that would take quite a few years though, so I'm not super worried about it, but I do kind of want to make sure that I'm finishing up those older sticker books as well. And then I picked some books here just because I thought they would be fun to finish. So those were kind of my like rationale for picking these sticker books. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first sticker book that I'm going to um, try to finish in the new year is my Disney Oasis Adventure sticker book and this is actually the functional sticker book that they released from the Oasis collection. They actually also released this one. This is the Oasis Adventure Icons and this one was the one that was like purely decorative. All the stickers were just um, designs. They were not functional at all. So these kind of go hand in hand and I loved the Oasis collection. I picked up a lot of things from the Oasis collection and I've actually repurchased this Oasis Adventure Icons sticker book already. I have one in my stash just like ready to go because I found it on clearance at Joanne and so I picked it up. But anyways, I decided to pick these two, well, let me first talk about this one. So this is the Oasis Adventure sticker book and this is the functional one. So it had icons, it had boxes. It also had like clear um, stickers, clear quotes. So it was a mix of decorative and functional. I really, really, really liked this sticker book. I wish I'd found this one on clearance at Joanne, but I only found that other one. But this one is just super fun. The stickers I probably have used the least in this book are these like gold script stickers just because um, I, I tend to forget about them. Anyways, as you can see from my little flip through here, I have finished quite a bit of this sticker book. I also tend to pull out pages from sticker books and throw them away as I finish the page. So my sticker books that I've used quite a bit tend to be, you know, thinner than like a regular sticker book. And I can just feel like just by holding the sticker book that it's very thin and that I don't have that many pages left in here. So that's why I chose this one because I'm almost done with it. I thought it would be easy and I really want to make this you know, high achieving goal attainable. I want to pick sticker books that are relatively easy for me to finish. And also I just want to focus on these sticker books that I only have like a couple of pages left in them, maybe half the book left in them. And I know that in a year's time, I can really just focus on them, use them up, enjoy them, and then just get them out of my collection. So this is the first one that I'm going to try to finish. And then similarly, this is the Oasis Adventure Icons. And this one, again, is just purely decorative. These Mickey heads, I feel, could function as bullet points. Same with these bow stickers. And 
I used up quite a bit of the sticker book already. Mostly I used those clear stickers that um, were kind of scene-like with the houses. I don't know if you remember um, those stickers. I feel like those were like the most popular stickers from these books. You can kind of see them here on the cover. But the stickers with the little buildings and the houses and the plants, I used those up so quickly and I used up a lot of the clear stickers as well, like the clear decorative stickers. The stickers in here that I tend to, tended to like neglect were these like tiny icon stickers because I just didn't really feel the need to use these that much. And honestly, I wish they had only given us like half a page of these smaller icon stickers. Like I only need two rows of tiny mini icon stickers in this pose. You know what I mean? I feel like a, one whole page is like excessive. But I think I'm gonna have fun with like sprinkling those tiny little icons throughout all of my planners, kind of like hidden Mickeys. I think that would be fun. But again, this is another sticker book I am really close to finishing. It's very thin in my hands. Like it feels like I only have a couple of pages left in here. So it's gonna be an easy um, finish. Okay, next sticker book. This is Color Story um, in the big. And this is a relatively new sticker book. It has the pressed florals in here. Um, let's see, what else does it have? It has uh, indigo, right? Yeah, this is the indigo collection. I haven't touched both of those collections at all. And then it also has this style. I forget what this style was. I think this is a seasonal sticker book, um, maybe. I forget what style it is. We also have this L'Amour La Vie, which I know is also a planner, but I don't remember too well. And then we have Colorful Leopard, and I think that's the last color story in here. Yeah, so we have, let's see, Pressed Florals, Indigo, the Seasonal One, and then Colorful Leopard. So we have four different types of color story in here. And the reason I picked this one was because I think it also will be relatively easy to finish because I can just focus on finishing sections at a time. And these stickers are in the big size and so I feel like the big size stickers are easier to finish just because there are fewer of them on the page and it's just easier, I think, to, to get through these. I think there's just less stickers and that's why. I haven't used this one too much. I have used some of the Colorful Leopard and I think some of these like seasonal stickers, but I really haven't used too many. Oh, and do you know what? I totally forgot that this color story also came with the Painterly Pastels color story, which is this page that you see here, but I used that one up um, a while back, so that's why you don't see it at all in here. And I figured this would be a good one to try to finish in the year because it gives me quite a bit of variety. Like one thing about, you know, finishing a sticker book is that you might get bored with just continuing to use those stickers again and again and again. But with this one, it gives you a lot of different styles. And so it's kind of like panning four mini sticker books in one. So that's why I chose this one. Okay, the fourth sticker book up, this is Happy Goals. This is another sticker book that I've used quite a bit of. So it's very thin in my hands. It's also, one of my older sticker books, I forget when this one came out, but it's very like productivity oriented, it's goal oriented, it's functional, it's also very wellness oriented. And I've used quite a bit of stickers from here as well. And all of these stickers are super, super bright. They're fun, they're bold. The colors are very much like in that primary color palette. We have some fun icon stickers. There's a lot of icon stickers in this sticker book. Ooh, I like these. These are very like functional oriented. I can definitely see myself finishing this up in 2023 and I'm probably gonna use these in my work planner because my work planner is very much like this style. It's very bold and bright and very productivity oriented. These designs aren't like absolutely beautiful to me. I just think they're fun and functional and they get the job done, which is exactly how I treat my work planner. I don't 
care that my work planner is beautiful or pretty. In fact, I don't even try to make it, you know, beautiful or anything like that. For me, it's purely functional. And the fact that I'm just using stickers to help me plan out my work schedule and prioritize my to-dos, like just the fact that I'm using stickers is enough for me. So this is gonna be an easy one to finish, I think. Okay, fifth sticker book up. This is Colorful Dogs. This is also a relatively new one. I mean, it was released last year, I think, but I still consider it kind of new. And I've used quite a bit of stickers in the sticker book, but not as many as the other ones that I've shown you. This one's really fun. There's a lot of clear decorative stickers, a lot of dog stickers. Um, we have some clear gold quotes, some washi strips, some nice boxes. And I think this is gonna be fun to finish because it's so bold and colorful. I'm probably gonna use this one in my work planner a lot. We have some monthly boxes and some gold stars, some dot stickers and some double boxes. I like this book because it has a lot of like boxes and functional stickers. And again, I think this is gonna be perfect for work. So I do have quite a bit of stickers left in this sticker book. I know I've used some and it feels a little bit thinner than like a regular, you know, brand new sticker book. I know I have used quite a few stickers from here, but definitely there's still a lot left in here. Definitely more than the other sticker books that I've shown so far. So this one is probably gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but I think I can do it. I picked this one because I think it'd be perfect for my work planner and I tend to like really get through stickers when I'm work using them for work. Plus I'm using the Cozy Critters planner for work and so I thought this would be perfect with that planner. So this is the fifth sticker book I'm trying to finish. Okay, the sixth sticker book I'm trying to finish is the Sophisticated Florals sticker book. This is a little bit of an older one as well. It's very, very neutral, it's gorgeous. And I can definitely see myself using this for anything. I could use this for work, I could use this for my teaching planner, I could use this for um, my home life planner or my creative journal and Actually, I don't have that many left in here. I thought I had more, but I feel like a lot of these stickers um, I can easily use up, like these line, line drawing clear stickers, like this page, I can easily use that up. These, I can use up quite easily. This one doesn't even have stickers on it. Yeah, a lot of these pages only have like one or two stickers left on them. So I think this is actually gonna be quite an easy finish. This is a gorgeous sticker book. It's so neutral and soft and pretty. I think I would purchase this one again, honestly, once I'm done with it. It's just nice to have like a sticker book like this in your collection for, for whenever you want like a nice palette cleanser. But yeah, I picked this one because it's a little bit of an older sticker book in my collection and because I, I feel like I can, I can finish it, like I'm close to, to finishing it. So that is the sixth sticker book I'm trying to finish. The seventh sticker book is going to be a little bit of a challenge. This is my farmhouse sticker book and it's in the big size. And I feel like I've only used like a handful of stickers in this sticker book so far. Yeah, so I have used some, but definitely have not used most of this sticker book. So this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but I did wanna give myself like a couple of challenges. I didn't just wanna pick sticker books that I was almost done with. I wanted to throw some challenging ones in there. And I thought Farmhouse would be a good one to challenge myself with because I've actually used up an entire Farmhouse sticker book already, but in the normal size, the regular size, this one isn't the big. And I just like Farmhouse a lot. I like the stickers. I think it's a really good mix of functional, decorative, clear, and paper stickers. And it's just really beautiful. I feel like it's neutral, but not super neutral. There's still like a beautiful, soft, almost pastel-y color palette going on. And then we have florals as well. 
yeah, I just think there's such a good mix of stickers in here. There's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. And I love the farmhouse aesthetic. And it's a big sticker book. And again, I feel like the big sticker books are a little bit easier to finish because there's just less stickers, I, I think. So uh, we're, we have farmhouse. So that's the seventh sticker book I am trying to finish. Okay, the eighth sticker book is Horizontal Layout. So actually, this is the second copy of Horizontal Layout that I've had because I finished up my first Horizontal Layout sticker book completely. And I think I've only used like one or two stickers from this sticker book um, since I got it because I wanted to take a break from my Horizontal Layout because I had just finished the entire sticker book. And so I was a little bit, you know, I wanted to just take a break from it. Yeah, I've used some stickers here and there, but as you can see, most of the sticker book is intact. But I had finished an entire sticker book of this, and so I wanted to I wanted to get it again, definitely. And I picked it up on clearance; it was five dollars. I wanted to get it again, but I also didn't want to jump back into it right away, and so I decided to wait for a little bit until you know I felt like returning to it and. I have grabbed stickers from this here and there, but for the most part, I feel like um, this is pretty intact. And the reason I picked this one is because it is one of my older sticker books, and it was such a fun sticker book. I did really like it, and I finished it once, and I, and so it kind of gives me like hope that I can finish it again pretty easily. So we have horizontal layout. Okay, the next two sticker books, eight and nine, are actually from Craftsmart, so these are not Happy Planner sticker books. The first one is actually, um, I deconstructed it and put it on like a binder ring. The reason I deconstructed this was because I was like collecting all of my Craftsmart sticker books together. I kind of regret doing that because I ended up just taking them apart again. <laughs> but now it's kind of deconstructed. So this one is actually, it was called the brights i think it was like the brights craft smart sticker book and um it's just some bright stickers and there's not really a cohesive theme to these stickers besides that they're just fun and bright and happy and i almost see a kind of like a party theme with these there's a lot of confetti balloons sparkle but i believe the name of the sticker book was just brights and there's a lot of functional stickers in here. There's a good number of quotes as well, some weekend banners, habit trackers, some circles, and I'm gonna be using this for work. This is gonna be for sure like a work sticker book. These are the exact kind of stickers that I like to use for my work planner. They're like colorful and bright, and also just tons of boxes and checklists and functional stickers. So yeah, I've used quite a bit of the sticker book, but I still think it's going to be challenging to finish it, but I'm looking forward to just finishing the sticker book. And the last sticker book that I want to finish in 2023 is my Craftsmart Sweet Sunshine sticker book. This sticker book is so, so, so cute, and I maybe would buy this again because it's so adorable. It's almost like kawaii themed. And this sticker book has a lot of like functional stickers. It's very similar to the one that I just showed you. Um, box stickers, checklists. There's a lot of decorative stickers as well. Some icon stickers, washi tape. Um, yeah, more box stickers, some quote stickers, icon stickers. I love these food icon stickers. Um, box stickers. Yeah, and it's just really, really fun. These are my favorite stickers here. Like the clear quotes with the little... Um, food icons but I've used quite a bit of the sticker book I'm very proud of myself and um, I think I could finish it in this year I just have to focus on it but yeah there's still a lot of stickers here um, left these sticker books have so many stickers um, but I think I think I can finish it it's such a cute sticker book and the reason why I want to finish um, these sticker books is because I kind of want to just finish up my Craftsmart stickers. I think I have five of these Craftsmart like longer sticker books and but I would not repurchase this Bright sticker book. It just I kind of regret picking it up. 
But this Sweet Sunshine sticker book, I really like. I think I would repurchase this once I'm done with it. But let me finish it and see how I feel. Anyway, those are the 10 sticker books that I'm going to try to finish in the new year. Let me know if you're trying to finish any sticker books in the new year and good luck with it if you are. And with that, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye!